AppSmith Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use AppSmith. AppSmith is a powerful open source platform designed for building, deploying, and maintaining internal apps. Whether you're looking to create an e-commerce store, a data visualization dashboard, or internal tools, AppSmith has got you covered. Throughout this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of using AppSmith and provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your first app. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using AppSmith, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, locate the Sign Up button, which can usually be found at the top right corner of the page. Click on this button to proceed to the registration page. On the registration page, you'll find various options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to sign up using your Google account, GitHub account, or your email address. Select the desired option that suits you best and follow the prompts to proceed. After selecting your preferred sign up option, you'll be directed to another page where you can set up your account. From the drop down menu provided, choose your primary skill set. For example, if you consider yourself a non technical user, select the non technical option. Next, you'll need to choose your purpose for using AppSmith from the drop down menu. For instance, if you're just exploring the platform and getting familiar with its features, select the Just Exploring option. Once you have made these selections, click on the Get Started button to proceed. You will then be directed to the AppSmith editor where you can begin building your first application. In the top left corner of the editor, you'll find the My First Application section. Click on this and you will see a drop down menu appear. From there, click on the Home option which will take you to your account dashboard. The dashboard in AppSmith provides a user-friendly interface that is easy to navigate. When you access the dashboard, you'll notice two important tabs located on the top left-hand side, Apps and Templates. Under the Apps tab, you can find your workspaces listed on the left-hand side. This section displays both your existing workspaces and gives you the option to create a new workspace. To create a new workspace, simply click on the plus new workspace button and follow the provided instructions. Within each workspace, you'll see the apps you have created. These apps are presented in a card format, making it easy to identify and manage them. Additionally, within each workspace, you have the ability to create new apps. By clicking on the plus new button, you can initiate the process of creating a new app and follow the instructions accordingly. Moving on to the templates tab, clicking on it will display all the templates offered by AppSmith. This section allows you to search for a specific template using the search bar. Furthermore, you can filter the templates based on specific criteria to find the ones that best suit your needs. Once you find a template you want to use, simply click on the plus button to add it to your workspace. With these features and options available on the dashboard, you can easily manage your workspaces, create new apps, and leverage pre-existing templates to streamline your application development process. Now let's see how to build your first app in AppSmith. When you create a new account, AppSmith adds a workspace with an application titled My First Application on the home page by default. If you are inside an application and need to go to the home page, click on the AppSmith logo at the top left of the screen to go to the home page. Once you are on the home page, look for the plus new button on the right side of the screen under the workspace where you would like to build your app. Clicking on this button will take you to a new application in edit mode. This is where you can begin building your app from scratch. On the other hand, if you prefer to start building an application from an existing template, you can click on the Template tab located at the top left side of the home page. Clicking on this tab will take you to the template library where you can browse through various pre-designed templates. For this particular tutorial, we want to build an application for an e-commerce store. To do so, scroll down to the templates until you find the e-commerce store template. Once you locate it, click on the plus button to select and use this template as the foundation for your app. After selecting the e-commerce store template and clicking on the plus button, a pop-up window will appear. In this window, choose the workspace from the drop-down menu where you want to build your app. Once you have made your selection, click on the fork template button. It may take a moment, but eventually you will be directed to the editor where you can start customizing the template according to your needs. Once you are in the editor, the first task is to change the name of the app. To do this, navigate to the top left corner and hover over the name of the store. As you do so, you will notice three dots appearing. Click on these dots and a menu will appear. From this menu, select Edit Name. You can now easily edit the name of the store. For example, if you want to change it to E Street, 
replace the existing name e-commerce store with eStreet. Moving on to the landing page of the store, click on the title of the store and you will see a right menu appearing. In the text field of this menu, replace the existing title with eStreet. By doing this, you have successfully changed the title of the landing page. Now, let's talk about customizing the background image of the landing page. If you click on the background image of the landing page, a right sidebar will appear. This sidebar allows you to customize the content and style of the landing page. However, in our case, the landing page of our app is already satisfactory, so there's no need to make any changes to it. The next step in customizing your app is to focus on the product section. On the landing page, you will find several products, but let's begin by customizing the first one. Click on the product, and a new window will open dedicated to that particular product. Within this window, you have the ability to customize the product image, name, price, rating, and description. Clicking on any of these elements will bring up the right sidebar, which provides options for customization. For example, if you want to change the price of the product, simply click on the price within the product window. As a result, the right sidebar will appear, and within it, locate the text field. By clicking on this field, a pop-up window will appear, allowing you to modify the product price. Make the desired changes to the price, and the updated price will be reflected. After you have finished customizing the product, you will return to the landing page. Here you will notice a right sidebar where you can view your app in different formats such as desktop view, tablet landscape view, tablet portrait view, and mobile view. This allows you to preview and ensure that your app looks great across different devices. If you've made all the necessary changes to your application and are satisfied with them, it's time to publish your app. To do this, navigate to the top right corner and click on Deploy. Please note that the publishing process may take a while. Once your application is successfully published, it will be live on the internet and accessible to users. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using AppSmith. You can sign up using the first link in the description, I appreciate that, thank you. Now that you have a solid understanding of the platform, you can unleash your creativity and start building your own powerful internal apps. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.